All right, listen up, because I'm about to ruin your faith in the little rectangle that runs your life. Ten years ago, an infected PC screamed at you. Pop-ups, slow down, sketchy EXEs named stuff like runme.exe. In 2025, the malware is a polite vampire. It sits in the corner, drinks your CPU and passwords, and says goodnight, while task manager smiles back like nothing's wrong. I've got a Windows box right here that is absolutely soaked in crap, and the screen looks cleaner than your search history. Open Task Manager, nothing. Run Process Explorer, scan every process on virus total, zero detections. Clean as a Bible. So where's the rot? Start with services. Scroll, scroll, wait, what's BMW ASX doing here? Unless your PC is secretly a car, that's a problem. Check the executable path. Program data, weird name. Paste it into virus total. 40 engines flag it, but Defender's on, real-time protection enabled. How? Go to Defender Exclusions. The malware added whole folders to the ignore list like it's leaving post-it notes. Modern malware doesn't brawl with AV. It politely asks it to look the other way, and the AV obliges. Browse those folders. App data, local, NP updater, driver files masquerading as audio services, core.exe, mining crypto for some guy in a different time zone while your GPU sulks. It's also an info stealer. You log into your bank, type a password, and somewhere a stranger celebrates with your money. No CPU surges, no suspicious traffic. It's encrypted HTTPS, looks like polite web browsing. Most of these infections came in via techniques that laugh at classic AV, bring your own installer, where attackers abuse legit installers to kill EDR, fileless attacks that live only in RAM and inject into Explorer, BYOVD, bring your own vulnerable driver, signed drivers loaded by the OS then exploited for kernel access, reflective DLLs, macros that summon PowerShell and re-inject from registry on reboot, and the numbers are disgusting. Only about 3% of exfil attempts get stopped in 2025, password cracking success rates up, valid account attacks succeed almost every time. If someone gets one credential, they're probably in. So what do you actually do besides scream into the void? Stop worshipping single tools. AV is hygiene, not salvation. Deploy EDR that watches behavior, network analysis that flags anomalies in encrypted flows, logging that notices PowerShell doing weird Base64 gymnastics, so application whitelisting where practical, and most importantly, detect tampering of your own security. Lockdown update channels with online authorization so attackers can't weaponize upgrades. Plan for detection and recovery, not just prevention. Compartmentalize VMs, rotate identities for risky ops. Scrub metadata and treat OPSEC like brushing your teeth. Annoying, but less humiliating than a drained bank account. I teach this stuff with a method that actually turns skills into paydays and not just theory. Cyberflow Academy has hands-on courses added every month, a private Discord where you can ask me anything directly, and templates for detection, response, and earning from defensive and offensive work. We cover the business side, not just the tech. If you want to stop being a target and learn to profit from skill instead of panic, join now with code CYBER50 for 50% off.